Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Long War of the Chosen Legendary Iron Man playthrough where I'm trying to uh, beat the game on the hardest difficulty. It's time for Operation Bone Giant. We are be being attacked by a Chosen. I'm very much looking forward for it. Can only be the Warlock or the Assassin because we already killed the stupid Hunter and uh, so we're being attacked and might even be someone else there so and we've seen one alien ruler wouldn't be completely out of the ordinary if we're seeing the berserker queen but the last time she had been spotted she was in south america so who knows let's jump into the mission and give it a good shot all right so <clears throat> we landed let's take a good look got some high ground over here some potential high ground for sparks over there but I can already see this is going to be rough. Um, Scythe. Dives into the shadows. I go where I'm needed. And will start to scout for us. Okay, hmm, well, not sure if this is going to trigger. I feel light on my feet. Nope. On the move. Moving very much over there. Some extra hit points right away into moving over there okay we got high ground theoretically theoretically got some high ground there but uh, that's a bit too hot for my take we're going to take one position here and potentially a grappling position over there cool timbit moves to there beta moves up and raven does have um squad side so she can play both in the back and in the front overwatch 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 him at overwatches and let's see what we're dealing with the invaders send a patrol. Uh, typically the chosen would come now <laughs> the plasma cannon oh my lord No, no, kill him, kill him. Thank you, before he scout uh, spots us out. Yeah, we're immune to mind control, but nice try. Oh wow. Oh wow. Well, doesn't seem like any chosen to me. None that I would see so far. But we are in a tricky overall position. So Elite Trooper could definitely die. Oh, Edwin First Sergeant would be a good hit as well. <laughs> Plasma pistols are wonderful. 
Let's get that first sergeant because such a good shot we won't get another one. 17. Not bad. Got him almost down to one hit point. Good, we're going to go for you guys in a second, but for now, you need to die. And we'll get an extra action. Very good. Starting to hit these guys and hit them hard. Nice damage there, by the way. Let's pull that other pack. Starting with that stun lancer. Target eliminated. Okay. Would have uh, liked to see a little bit more of them coming forward, but okay, it is what it is. Insanity. Good, they are panicked. Into a nice void rift on this side. We'll deal damage also to mechanical units. Plus rupture them, which is helpful. And the chrysalid gets some panic on top of it. Cool. Starting to get you down. Very nice. Starting to get the chrysalid down. Also very nice, 70, holy moly. Crazy damage, I like it. We are cycling our um, scouts I understand. you move forward and you you begin to move backwards to over here My life is in your hands. thank you Good, Overwatch, 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 and Overwatch, and we should be fine. It's only one of them, and he does need to double move to even get in range. Holy moly. A lot of enemies in the absence of uh, the Chosen. Them. 
Okay, one of them disables uh, himself. I mean, listen, I don't mind you guys giving me a little chance here, but you don't need to play stupid just because um, because you think that's necessary. Moving up. Surveillance drone goes down. There's still another pack over here which I don't want to pull yet. Instead, let's move the snipers to high ground. And we're having a very solid attack line at the moment. My life is in your hands. Good. Might as well just take a shot. here very soon we can do shadows again <clears throat> reload overwatch and we're good just in case they got spotted out He's burning and bleeding. <laughs> That's so funny. I love Sentinel. Almost. Almost. Nice. Very nice. All right. <clears throat> Interesting setup there. Oh, nearly we would be nearly able to catch all three of them. Let's do an interference. Just to get the overwatch. I feel light on my feet. Good, moving up. Look, I think we're almost better off using our Shredder gun here. Mainly because it hits three and shreds ultra well. Already got one right off the bat. Oh, <laughs> behave. That is some illegal damage. Good, how about we're reloading and just getting the purifier. Nice hit, I like it.
Good death from above. Moves up. Purifier. Gets purified. Moving over here, and we're going to scout very soon. Don't waste my time. Okay, I'll go. Covering ground. Good, grabbing more material. We trigger. Raven gets some more hit points. I'm pretty sure he will need them in a second. I didn't think that we would trigger. It was the greed once again that got me. That should hopefully get rid of one of them. Good hit. I'm on it. And of course, as per the usual, faces ones are spawning. What? There is no heavy casualties. We lost three. Granted, not good. Good, everybody was protected. But that hurts. Can't just let that fly. So we have a bone to pick, my friend. Nice little hit. It feels good to move around. We got the faceless here. Who by Moving to position. a miracle survives that all right moving into the shadows Moving out. that's one move and I think that'll be number two. Good repair. For the sake of repairing. Reload Overwatch, straight up Overwatch, and Overwatch. And um, how about we're just killing that Naja? here got plenty of throwing knives so we should be fine that'll give us an extra action <laughs> there you go let's shred him or rupture him We 
repairing ourselves. Oh, we can't even see him. Okay, never mind. Now we'll give the killing shot to Jacobo. Never mind. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Never mind. Well, no chosen there because we already killed him. So they were just sending more troops, apparently. But that also means we can collect all of the corpses, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. Hmm. That would be pretty good. I'm glad to see that our cooperation with the resistance factions is going so well, Commander. Their soldiers seem to be a big help around here. But as per the usual, we did not get any promotion and no corpses, but some good loot. Okay. Well, not a bad start. I would have, uh, I would have, of course, wanted a bit more. The aliens work on the Avatar project. We should hit one of their facilities as soon as possible. Okay, we still need to gather that supply drop. Oh my lord. And then we need to heal. Setting course for the Indonesian zone. Okay, so smash and grab. Uh, we got the tower. We got an HQ assault. We are assaulting there. If we were to assault down here, I'm just double checking. So we still have this. And this is the two zones where we could theoretically, um, where we could theoretically continue to farm missions. Damn it! So, no. Told you, can't be friends. Astrid Durand and Emma Schwartz. That's a dual sniper. Uh, that's not clever either. No, you can't be friends with the Psykers. That's not how it works. Be friends with the guys in your squadron. How difficult is that to understand? So, we're going to reserve these here for our actual um, next mission for the Chosen. That's fine. That's okay as well. So we got a couple of uh, soldiers that are ready to rumble. These guys are infiltrating. Here we have three days until jammer training. And then technically the squad here is ready. Imperial fists. We could also take this squad here. A bit low-ish, but we could take them on the mission. The other alternative is simply to put in you guys and do a little bit of a mixed squad, put Implacable and Plisket on there and then fill it up with what it, wh whoever is uh, ready and available. Hmm. Not the worst idea either. Yeah, not the worst idea either. Blood Angels and Space Wolves, just letting them infiltrate. You know what? Let's do that. So we're continuing to liberate. Setting course for Sector 13, South Africa. 
we are pretty much at a uh, at a power spike at the moment which we can use plasma lance for one day hmm. we do have supplies we could upgrade a couple of the lances but I think we're strong enough to to do it either way it's just a matter of who should go and I think this squad here could be a great building block let me work a bit on that all right we're sending in that team it's kind of a hodgepodge team uh, of the squads that uh, of the members of the blood angels and space wolves that still need levels and then on top of it a couple of mechs and a psionic character no dedicated support maybe with the exception of the psion, uh, psi operative but i think we should be fine with that uh, the space wolves infiltrating it and now we do have two assault infiltrations uh, the raven guard is going for the turret uh, for the tower and we do have the salamanders on a normal mission uh, which finally uh, gets us to actually scanning for health for healing ambush oh that's a good mission oh, it's a fantastic mission and a lot of time and is just killing all of the enemies so why wouldn't we just use the aspirants for that good let me equip them uh, it's not a lot that they will have but at least a little bit okay we're starting the next infiltration the sparks always make it a little bit longer but they are well worth it all we need to do is ambush uh, them and i think the sparks will be absolutely instrumental in doing that so got another mission going for us everybody would get a promotion i love it Now we got a skull jack, which yet again is great. And after the skull jack, we have no further project. So a couple of things here: uh, plasma grenade would be good. Skull mining would give us uh, the plus twenty-five um, hacking once you are having a skull jack. Uh, tactical vest isn't bad. The hell reef vest is actually very good. So both of those would allow us to get more vests. EMP grenades aren't uh, bad. Hmm. So this is an easy one. I'll send word when the project is complete. School mining is a lot of money, but it might be worth it. Specifically, if we're using the school jack, 25 uh, hacking is nothing to scoff at. It's a, it's a good amount. Plasma grenades would be fantastic, but I think every plasma grenade also costs an alarium core, and they are competing with incendiary grenades and sting grenades, right? So. Unfortunately, my personal gripe with plasma grenades is they are typically speaking uh, not worth it because they have reduced the removal capability, uh, so the cover destruction capability. If that would be still a massive step up. I think they would be worth it, but it's quote unquote just a little bit damage. Nonetheless, you can't ignore damage. So we're doing tactical vest as well. And those are the cheaper options. So we can start with that. Um, and you know what? Let's bite the bullet right away. We still have enough supplies and it's good to have that as an option. Hmm. 
Nice, another rendezvous. And I think that's already the next mission, which means we are going to stop the uh, episode right here. And next one starts right where this uh, one left off. We're getting a big fat rendezvous operation, Perilius Wheel. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like long war content, leave a comment and a like down below. That really, really helps a lot. I can uh, not emphasize it em enough. And see you in the next episode. Bye bye.